For those who remember, about nine months ago, I reviewed this watch. This is an MMI turret. It's very 70s, retro inspired, really nice color, decent layout, very funky, very cool, very fun. And now they've contacted me and they've sent me this new watch. It's called a Sky Hunter. And as, as fun as this was, as gorgeous as this watch, to me, this is pretty bland and pretty much sterile. But in saying that, I will tell you exactly what I felt on the wrist with this watch, what I've experienced. It's got a very decent full dial loom, features a Miyota automatic. And as you can see, the date complication is placed in such a way where you can read it and there's a little orange marker that goes around. And one of the complaints that a lot of people, including myself, had with this particular one was the date complication is again all the way around, but the orange marker, you can barely read it. With this one here, a little bit more legible, but still, I think there's a little bit of work that needs to be done. Now you saw the pop-up, MMI will be providing a production version of this watch. However, as always, they have zero input into the content of this review. Now looking at the watch closer, I measure a case diameter of exactly 38 millimeters. That case height comes in at exactly 10.6 mil. We have a lug to lug of 45.4 and a lug width of 20. The crown is loomed as well as signed and it's a screw down crown. And the total water resistance of the watch is 100 meters. And the total weight on this particular bracelet size to my 18 centimeter wrist comes in at exactly 138 grams. Now being a 38 mil, as you can see on the wrist, the watch is sitting fine. This is a pre-production version of prototype, so there might be a couple little flaws here and there, but generally this is what you're going to get as a production version. Now I did measure the lug to lug distance of exactly 45.4. However, this has male end links. So be aware that the extension of that lug to lug distance will fall all the way to 51.5. That might present a problem to slightly smaller wrists. Now the case height coming in at 10.6 mil has been not an issue. The comfort on the bracelet has also been superb. Now the watch features a Miyota 9015 automatic, 28,800 vibrations per hour. They are a sturdy and thin movement, thus allowing us to get a nice thin profile on this watch. Now if I unscrew that crown, it pops out two clicks. As you can see, we've hacked that movement and we can adjust the time. Just there and lock that in. The movement starts again. You can probably see just down there, that's where the date is. That's where the fluoro orange is. And in my experience throughout the week, although you can see the contrast of the orange against that light dial, it still has been a little bit too small. I think some work needs to be done in the area of legibility to be able to see that more clearly. But not only that, if you notice the date themselves, 14, 15, 16, they seem to be a little bit cluttered. It's very squashed up in there. And even in good lighting, you really have to look carefully to determine what that date is. Now, if I pull that crown out one click, that's when I can adjust that date. Moving clockwise, it's 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, and so forth. But as you can see, to me, it's it's pretty much lost in there. It, the, the detail is so fine and small and cluttered, it needs more space. But in saying that, the winding experience, as you'd expect from a Miyota, the latch down experience is also good, and you've got 100 meters of water resistance. Now, if we turn our attention to that bracelet, as you can see, you've got male and links, they're solid. You've got split pins, a milled swivel, press clasp, a flip lock, and you've got about five micro adjustments. So it's decent as far as quality is concerned. It's pretty much general off the shelf hardware, nothing special. So be aware of that. And the fact that you've got male end links, which do extend that lug to lug to 51.5, it's a bit of a concern for smaller wrists. However, in saying that, I do like the fact that they've got five micros. I've had it in the middle and it's been comfortable. I've not moved it all week. Now there's several different colorways they're gonna be offering of this unit. I'll leave the links in the description. This particular one here has got a loomed dial. It actually has super luminova, old radium grade one and BGW9. And if I show you the loom shot, there's copious amounts of loom there. So you're gonna see this walking in from an outdoor environment into a dark room. You're gonna see this straight away. It actually glows, it glows quite a bit. So in that department, I think they've done well. Lastly, turning the watch over, as you can see, you've got a solid case back. You've got the graphics of a plane, the Sky Hunter. Again, pretty straightforward and it does the job. Now the launch date of this watch is the 1st of December. And I believe that the first 24 hours, you'll be able to grab this for 305 US dollars. And from there, progressively every day, the price will be going up in increments. Check the links for more information. Now, what are the pluses and minuses of this watch? Well, for me, the negatives, that first negative is that date. I know it's a feature, but it is small, it is cluttered. It also is a little bit difficult to get a gauge of where that fluorescent orange marker is. 
Maybe it's my 50 plus year old eyes. I don't know, but it's just something to point out. Second negative, male end links, a definite no. Not at a watch of this size, 38 mil. You're getting a 38 mil watch. That's really extending the distance too much for smaller wrists. And I can see guys with 14 and 15 centimeter wrists trying to wear this and all of a sudden it's just overhanging. So I don't see that why you can't get female end links on this so that this falls straight down. You've got a smaller lug to lug. Next negative I wanna speak about is the hardware, the case, the actual bracelet, very generic, nothing untoward. The original turret I liked because it was different, it was retro, it was 70s, there was angles on it. I think there was a bit of creativity there. With this one here, it's pretty much straightforward, playing it very safe. And lastly, be aware that this watch is limited edition. I think they're gonna have 150 pieces of different colorways. Check out the links again. You make your decision on what you think of that. Move away from that, what are the pluses of this watch? Well, it's a good footprint. It does sit well on the wrist. Legibility's been good. When you are in subdued light, I've noticed that the loom seems to work really well, so that's been a big plus. The comfort's also been good, with a very acceptable height of 10.6 mil, and the weight at 138 has also been in comfort. So check it out, guys. Launch date, 1st of December. I'll leave all those links. The MMI Sky Hunter, a different piece, very clean dials, albeit for me that date complication could have been a little bit cleaner and a little bit more legible from the font size as well as the opening where you see the fluoro marker. Thanks again for watching guys, have a safe week and we'll see you in the next video.